grew up in New York City. Yeah. I was actually born in Monticello, New York. Uh, and uh, I was adopted when I was two weeks old. And uh, I was adopted by a white Jewish couple from Chicago. And to make a whole long story short, uh, I ended up nine years ago being reunited with my birth family. My birth father is black Jehovah's Witness. My birth mother is white Irish Catholic. So basically I'm a black, white, Jewish, Irish, Catholic, Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> so who played the violin and had a big afro growing up. I initially started out at Penn State and then completed and got my undergraduate and graduate degrees in violin performance at the University of Michigan. Uh, and it was while I was at the University of Michigan that I began to think about kind of these ideas about diversity in classical music, which led me to found the Sphinx organization, which is kind of my main uh, work that I do. Well, the Sphinx organization is basically the national and now international organization that focuses on diversity in classical music. Uh, so we have a host of programs that include kind of our flagship program, the Sphinx Competition, national competition for young black and Latino string players. Um, and around that we have scholarship programs and instrument fund, our top laureates solo with about 30 of the top orchestras around the country. Uh, we send our laureates into schools. Um, and then we also have summer programs. We have a summer program uh, at Oberlin in Ohio. We have one at Roosevelt in Chicago. I did briefly study ballet. Uh, when I was a kid, when I was going to PS 183, uh, and I still think that my parents, I think, forced me to, to do this for a little while. I don't know how to dance, uh, and I've never kind of, you know, studied dance you know, other than for you know, a few months in elementary school. And, uh, but it's something that on the rare occasions that I've seen, uh, especially ballroom dancing, it's, uh, it's beautiful, uh, and so if I can uh, learn a little bit and uh, hopefully get that uh, kind of trigger of, uh, of excitement about it, I think it's something that might potentially impact uh, the rest of my life. Carrie is, is awesome. When she moves, it's, it's magic, you know? It's just, it's graceful, it's, uh, it's moving art. Well, for me, the arts are a critical part of any young person's life. Um, and first, there's kind of the pragmatic aspect. There's just, you know, tons and tons of studies that show that not just the exposure to, but immersion in, um, participation in the arts uh, at a young age goes to youth development, goes to other academic testing, goes to uh, discipline, all of these different factors that lead to successful youth development. The arts can be a critical, critical part of that. And whenever you look at any measures of graduation rates and um, math score, SAT scores, et cetera, college matriculation, all of these things are impacted by the arts. A student who is immersed in the arts does better and is more successful. The most memorable uh, part of my performance, I think it will be different for different people um, in that for those uh, who know me, have known me for a while, for, for my wife, it will probably be the shock of the before and after. <laughs> my hope is that through movement um, and the interaction of, of two human beings, um, you uh, can uh, take people into kind of an imaginary place for a brief moment. And I think if <laughs> I'm a good student uh, and Carrie has taught me well, uh, that we can do that. And if we do that, we should get everybody's vote.